Hello Redditors of the Internet, NoblesYNone here and welcome back to another Reddit video and today we will be looking at r slash choosing beggars part 29, let's get started. We'll start things off with a multi-billion dollar company acting like choosing beggars. James Bloodworth tweets, I've just written a book on difficulty working class kids have breaking into the professions because of proliferation of unpaid work. Huffington Post contacted me saying it sounded interesting, they asked me to write something. Unfortunately, they wouldn't be able to pay me, however, despite being a multi-billion dollar company. So here's my article. You are a part of the problem, Huffington Post. The end. And one of the top comments says, if I recall correctly, they actually recontacted the author and offered to pay saying it was a supposed accident. But we can all see through that PR move. This next one gives a one star review. I've been a regular here since it was opened. My daughter loves the ramen so we always back. We got a loyalty card for a free ramen and in the other two previous cards we always got a free ramen with special toppings. But today the man insisted it was wrong before and quite rude service. It was mere nothing, $8 but don't say I was wrong when I always got that. Check with your manager why it was not consistent then. The owner replies, hi. We thank you for the support all these years. Our free ramen does not include extra or special toppings. This applied to all stores. Hey, could I use your Apple ID to get the Five Nights at Freddy's games? No. Why is everyone a D? What the hell? Jake said no for no freaking reason also. What the hell? I'm not a D. I just don't want other people in my Apple ID. Oh my god. You legit get the games and leave. That's it. I won't do anything else. Nah, I'm good. Thanks. Frickin' hell, at least give a reason. I'm not comfortable having people in my Apple ID. What could I possibly do though? It's not like I'm gonna hack your bank account or steal personal info. I said no, you need to understand that. Whatevers, later, peace. Dude, no one's gonna give you their Apple ID because there's way too much personal things, including stuff that should stay private. It's just way too much of a risk to share that information just over a game. This next one is titled Valentine's Flowers at Costco. So today, I, 43 female, was shopping at Costco, just odds and ends. Being Valentine's Day, they had large end caps of flowers. I decided to buy myself a bouquet of roses, $15 for two dozen. Two young boys picked a bouquet and presented it to their mom, soon to be choosing beggars. Mom first says put them back because they'll stink up the house. Kids insist. Mom then says they can't afford it because one of the boys lost his mittens this week. Kids seemed heartbroken, older boy cries. So I go through checkout and have them do a separate order and rescan my flowers. Then bring the paid slip to the boys and mom. Me, hey, here's my gift to you today, all paid for, just show the receipt at the register when you go through. Choosing beggar, oh that's so nice, but can you return it and buy the bigger arrangement, $30? Me, that's the one your boys picked out, choosing beggar, but the larger one is what I deserve and it's only a little more. Me, if you don't want the roses I can give them to someone else, choosing beggar, what about a bag of chocolate and a smaller bouquet? Me, no, have a nice day. I walked 5 feet over, noticed another mom and kids, made the same gesture, received a big hug and was on my way. This next one thinks she's entitled to an Uber since I can't drive her around for free and have a job. Hey, how you been? Can I ask you a favor? Hey, I've been good and sure, what you need? I need a ride to my auntie to get my W-2, can you take me? Ah, oh, sorry, I don't live in Vegas anymore. Oh, where do you live? San Francisco, wow, how awesome, so you'll be able to Venmo me $8 for an Uber since he can't take me? Sorry, can't do that, it's definitely not how that works lol. I know you work for that tech company and can afford it, except they don't owe you anything. Doesn't matter if they can afford it or not. Well, looks like even more people are getting tired of choosing beggars. Attention all influencers, brand ambassadors, and collaborators. Want small brands to give you free stuff in exchange for exposure? Wow, that's really crappy of you. Guys, this next one hashtag needs your help. Are there any restaurants or businesses who provide food who would be interested in providing something for attendees to enjoy at an upcoming entrepreneur event at a Google campus at the end of the month in exchange for promotion to a wider audience? Damn, that was a long ass question. Please send me a message. No messages. But they did post 12 comments. This next one is a job posting. 
it is a temporary slash volunteer job. They would prefer if you had a year of video editing experience. And the full job description, we are looking for a promotional videographer slash editor to make some short films of our venues that can be used as promotional material on our websites and social media. We are looking for someone who is capable but looking to do this professionally. More as a voluntary due to it being something we like the idea of, but are not committed enough to spend a lot of money on. Maybe a student wanting some experience and to increase their portfolio. If you, the company, are so uncommitted to this whole idea, then what makes you think someone's gonna work at a professional level for you? It just doesn't make any sense. This next one was posted by the artist before she passed away from cancer. Damn, may she rest in peace. Just a small PSA, terminally ill people do not want to work for you for free, and no, starting the message with I know you're dealing with a lot does not make it better, believe it or not. I want to post screenshots, but I don't need extra stress. I want to know what kind of a-hole takes advantage of terminally ill people. This next one is titled, Dental Assistant Salary is Usually 27 to 42000 Another from the applicant pool. FYI, I'm in California. Experience, none. Monday to Friday, no more than 40 hours a week, no more than 8 hours a day. Not able to work past 10 p.m. or before 6 a.m. 30 minute breaks working 5 to 7 hours, and 1 hour breaks working 8 hours. Alright, seems reasonable, but then the next part gets a little off the rails here. Must be flown from New York as well as living accommodations paid for the first month while becoming acclimated to the new position. Annual salary 65000 Hard pass. Someone comments, sometimes if you don't ask for what you want, you won't get it. This next one is a producer who wants a free autistic female consultant for a TV series. It is part of my conversation with a film company who are doing a TV series about a female autistic protagonist. I've met with the two junior writers who really wanted to hire me, but their executive producer refuses to pay. Now they're going to approach any autistic female to consult for the role, but they still don't wish to pay. Just a heads up warning to you gals, it's up to you if you wish to do this freebie, but for me it goes against my principles. If they were a charity organization, then I will consider, but they are a commercial firm and they are being paid. And for context, this was the last message in a very long chain of messages a friend sent out. She is female, autistic, and has a PhD in psychology specializing in autism, and the producer here want her consultation services for free, when universities pay her by the hour or by the project. Naturally, she said no, so the hunt for free female autism consultant begins, and you wonder why the autistic community struggles to find decent representations of themselves on TV, because out there somewhere there's a producer who doesn't want to pay for it. Here we go again with the greedy people who think they can take advantage of others. For this next one, we go to Tinder. Jonathan, 31 years old, is looking for my lovely ever after. Must be blonde or brunette, be fit and toned, go to the gym at least four times a week, be no more than 5'11 and no less than 5'4 in height. Be available at all times, give good head, be able to cook and clean, devote as much of your time to me as possible, have a steady income of at least 70000 a year, have own apartment that I can crash at occasionally. If you fit these criteria, swipe right. I will not settle for anything less. Also, not interested in BBWs and single moms. Is this a choosing beggar or is this someone who's just trolling around on Tinder making fun of people who make these kinds of lists? This next one is an entitled birthday brat crossing, yikes. Honestly, so disappointed. Today's my 26th birthday and my mom was able to get a pre-order for Animal Crossing at Target with the journal. But she didn't put in my shipping address. I called to see if it could be changed, but it couldn't. So I just canceled the order. Like most folks, I want it the day it comes out. And I even write about games so it could be considered a need. She lives two hours away, so I'd have to request off work just to be able to drive and pick it up. And someone comments, not something I would have cancelled. You could have used a trip to visit your mom who I'm sure would have loved to see you. And another comment, my pre-order has the option to request an address change in the app. And a third comment, this seems a bit entitled. A game isn't a need, ever. Ask her to pre-order the digital one instead? And apparently, they had to lock the comments. Just a lot of people saying she's ungrateful and how they feel bad for her mom. Can't say I disagree. This next one's taking it to the next level. Someone voice called me in the middle of the night demanding I draw them free artwork. 
You know when is a good time to do a voice call to demand free artwork? Never. Just really, don't do that. So not only does the choosing beggar not value the work, they also don't value the person's sleep. This next one's titled, Don't You Just Love CEOs? I manage a startup company in the valley. My only employee is great, but he's also a new father, which means leaving work between 6 and 7 p.m. I understand him, but it's hard that the commitment lasts for work hours only. What would you do as a CEO? First of all, don't call yourself a CEO. You literally only have one employee. Secondly, why are you so shocked that an employee is only committed to their job during work hours? That's why work hours are established in the first place. Someone tweeted at Wendy's and McDonald's, what it take for a lifetime supply of spicy nugs? And Wendy's replies, keep buying spicy nugs for the rest of your life. This next one is titled red, black, and gold only. Please and thank you. Hey, I got my first apartment, would love some donations. In search of red cookware, black utensils, square clear glass dinnerware, square black table for four, black leather sectional, black bed frame, flat screen TV, black and gold area rug, food, bathroom set, please and thank you in advance. I know it's kind of specific, but I'd hate to take something I won't use away from someone else who will. And someone comments, try getting a job, maybe that would help you achieve your goals. Basically, they're asking for all the furniture for their apartment. This next one's titled, I love Reddit, but this dude is a different breed. Hello, Debonair Media. I saw your wonderful design on Mr. Beast's logo, and I was wondering if you could design me a logo. I'll give further details when and if you respond. Hello, please respond. It's been five minutes. Hello? Hello? Answer. Hello? OMG, at least respond and be professional. Hello? Sorry for earlier, but I need a logo for a gaming clan I'm about to start out. The games will be mainly Fortnite. I need seven stars with sparks shooting out. OMG, respawn, it's been almost 10 minutes. Just for that, I will not be paying you. You will do this for free. Respond, respond, respond or I will report you. It's been 12 minutes. Respond with a million exclamation points. The customer is always right. Okay, it's been hours yet you haven't replied. Holy crap, dude. You gotta realize people aren't glued to Reddit 24 hours a day. Actually, I bet some people are, but yeah. There is no reason why you need to act like this, and that's just gonna get you blocked. Time for some choosing beggar satire. I want someone to do some skilled work for me at very short notice, must be qualified and reliable, and I basically don't want to pay anything near the going rate for it. Can you all please tag various tradespeople so I can waste their time with my unreasonable request? This next one is an Instagram story of an account with 76,000 followers thought she would pay until the last text looking for a professional and talented amateur photographer in the southeast or willing to travel down. I have some things coming up soon and some collaborations with some brands and I need a few shoots done. As it will be for some companies, I will need to see some of your work as I need professional images. Shots will range from standing, jumping, cross country and possibly beach. Obviously, I can offer massive exposure and promotion for your business and happy to discuss some free of charge direct promotions in exchange for a shoot. Thank you. Yet you won't offer money. Also, you're looking for an amateur photographer, yet you want professional quality pictures. Dear Big Corporations, Asking me to do a free talk at your campus to women employees on the 8th of March is cheap. Pitching them to me as future clientele is worse. Take this as the most invaluable free advice you have ever received. This next one selling a 32 inch TV for 10 bucks. I'm interested, can you drop it off today? You'd have to come here to get it. I don't have a car, I live on the East End. Sorry, I'm just about to take them off. A guy just came and got it. Whatever. If you're gonna sell something, then you should offer delivery. Remember, you're the one selling it. You expect people to buy it and pick it up. Also, greedy mother effer. This next one is a tweet from EA, but oddly enough, EA isn't the choosing beggar in this situation. We're aware of the problem currently impacting EA and EA Help Services, so you may have trouble reaching us. We're working to resolve the issue as quickly as possible and we'll keep you informed. Someone else tweets, I can't go on to Ultimate Team? And someone else tweets, I want a 99 Team of the Year Messi as compensation. Send it here, PS4 account please, at EA Sports FIFA. My son will be over the moon. I've just pinky promised him this as compensation. Please don't make me a bad father. This next one is titled, What the Actual F? 
Okay, so here's the deal. My husband has seen every inch of my body. I've spat out a child in his face, but I've never seen his butthole. I feel like it has created an imbalance of power over the years and I really want to see it. Upon further investigation, it turns out he hasn't even seen his own butthole. Like the man has never explored his body with a mirror, so he offers me a deal. If he gets a Nintendo Switch, he will show the goods. Now I've done the math and there's 1.8k queens in here. That's 16 cents per queen to help me call his bluff and afford a Switch. What do you say? Will you help me see my man's butthole please? I'm a stay at home mom so I can't cheat and buy it from our joint account. This is probably one of the weirdest posts I've seen on r slash choosing beggars, like what the hell? And for this last one, people have been tired of choosing beggars before r slash choosing beggars was even a thing, cause this one goes all the way back to 2007. 8 by 8 by 16 cement blocks, $1 each. I have approximately 275 to 300 cinder blocks for sale. They are standard 8 by 8 by 16 inches. They cost about $1.75 plus delivery fees if you buy them somewhere else. I'm asking a dollar per block. You pick them up and move them yourself. Please don't waste my frickin' time with endless emails. These are plain old cinder blocks for frick's sake. You don't need to do an engineering study on the feasibility of using these frickin' things as building material. That's what they're for, you frickin' idiots. Now listen, we're all busy people here. You want the blocks? Come get the frickin' blocks and give me one dollar for every block you take. How frickin' hard is that? You don't have to tell me what you're building. I don't give an F. I'm not interested in helping you build it either. Why? Cause I don't give an F. I just wanna get these frickin' things off my property. Property. So if you want them, get the hell over here with some money and take them. The next freaking moron that emails me with, I'm building a blah 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 and was wondering if, the answer is no. Come get the freaking blocks and build it yourself. If I knew how to do masonry, don't you think I'd be using the blocks myself instead of selling them for half freaking price? What the hell is wrong with you people? The next one of you that emails me with some sob story BS is getting his email address added to the North American Man Boy Love Association mailing list. You want the blocks? Come get the blocks and don't F with me. If it's not already, this one should be considered a classic. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Spoonie the Rogue, Forever Tired, Seth Southwell, Coberti, and Peter Dankledge. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.